My name is Bogdan, and today I'm going to talk about Dramatic, which is a new distributed task processing library for Python. In this demo folder, I'm going to run pip env install to install Dramatic with support for RabbitMQ and watching for source changes. And while that's running, I'm going to create a new file called demo.py, and in there I'm going to import Dramatic and declare a new uh, actor. I'm going to call it count2. And actors in, Py in Dramatic are simple Python functions that you can send messages to uh, to over the network. So this this actor is just going to iterate up to uh, some number and then for every iteration it's going to print the current value and then sleep for one second. Finally it's going to print all done and there we have it. That's a working actor once I import time. Um, additionally, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it so that whenever I run the script from the command line, it's going to enqueue one of these tasks. So to do that, I'm just going to call the actors send method. And I'm going to pass it uh, the first command line argument. So import sys, and there we have it. So I'm already running rabbitmq here, uh, which means if I tip and run my script and give it a value of 10, nothing should happen. Well, in fact, something did happen. It enqueued a message on uh, using RabbitMQ, but we don't have any workers to process that message. So we can fix that pretty easily. Uh, in this other pane over here, I'm just gonna go and run pip and run dramatic demo. And this is gonna fail because uh, Python doesn't know where to find that demo module. To fix that, I can just uh, define this Python path uh, environment variable and give it the current working directory. Additionally, I'm going to make it, uh, I'm going to pass this uh, watch command line argument to Dramatic so that whenever I make a change to demo.py, it'll figure out uh, and then restart uh, the worker processes. That's just so I don't have to manually do it every time. So if I run that, we can see it's printing uh, output from the message that we sent. If I send a couple more messages, we should be able to see them run concurrently. And there we go. Now this is a little annoying. I use print statements here uh, and I can't really tell which worker process um, um, these messages are coming from. So I'm just gonna edit the file and use logging statements instead of print statements. And then if I switch back, you can see that it automatically restarted the workers. If I send it a new message, we can see it doing its thing. And then if I send another one, we should be able to see it use a different thread. And there you have it. That was a very, very brief introduction to Dramatic. Uh, it's much more powerful than this. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.